Good morning folks. What day is it today, Abigail? Is it Thursday? It's Thursday and I've spent all morning on the clunky, crappy government gateway websites trying to register for alcohol wholesalers. What a waste of time. Anyway, Abby's still off school for the next two weeks, so we're going to take her across. Where are we going, my love? The old queen. We're going to see the old queen and drop her off there for a couple of hours, and then we'll pick you up when mummy's finished work. The old queen! Well, it might take a long time. It might. Alright, let's go. You got your shoes on? Yep. New ones. Chancy boy. Oh. Yes, it is. Good lad. It's spring! It is spring. Morning, folks. How you doing? Well, actually, it's one o'clock, so... I had to stop in this morning, as I said, to uh, wait for childcare. I really do hate the school holidays, but hey, take it on the chin. So I managed to get here for about 12-ish, thereabouts. I've just finished putting some timber on the HLT. I can't see much else there is to do there now, apart from seal the bottom up with some expanding foam. And uh, I might flip it over, actually, and put expanding foam on the base of the tank so that HLT is a really hot and toasty HLT, you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, now got some hardboard, Stuart Hunter picked it up for me. This is much more flexible and forgiving than is the uh, ply, the 6mm ply, this is 4mm hardboard. Did well on the IVB tanks, as far as I know, the cladding hasn't fell off. Same process as yesterday, so I'm just going to chuck the board up on here. Uh, 1220 wide, so I should be able to split this into 75mm strips, no problem. Um, on the table saw, so I will stick the extractor on and we'll get a cotton. <laughs> I pushed my luck a little bit there. Obviously the uh, the hardboard was kicking off more dust than the vac could pick up. There's a lot in the air and I should have really stopped and put a dust mask on. But I quickly opened the door, ran them through as fast as I can. And now I've bailed, I'm just going to let the dust disappear. I don't want to be breathing that shit in. In fact, I've made myself, you would like to know, a beef and tomato pot noodle. Let's have lunch. Now because of the shape of the ports, I've decided to go with three bands on the boil kettle, which is probably a good idea considering it's the tank that's gonna get the most attention. So I'll just give you a quick walk around so if anybody out there wants to replicate this, they can pretty much see exactly what I've done. I've just put a couple of pieces of timber at the side of here. I had some stainless steel posi drive screws, so I've just whacked them in to screw the timber to there to allow me to fasten the ends of the bands there because obviously they'll be floating in mid-air otherwise but uh, she's ready now for stuffing with insulation and uh, timber, timber application <laughs>
the login now. Oh my god. Yes, our shot home got changed. That insulation that you saw me putting on there. Oh man, I absolutely hate it. Anyway, I powered through. Uh, we've got it on. We've got the whole of the uh, boil kettle. Come on, turn around. So that's pretty much that's pretty much the front of it. And uh, it's slightly offset actually. The timber tucks in nicely to the steel at the bottom. I'm dead chuffed. It's done all the way around. Two tanks ready to go. So uh, yeah, it's five o'clock now. I'm gonna knock it on the head. The sun is out, so I'm gonna go and sit in the pub and drink beer. Hey! <laughs> uh, yeah, Gemma will be here in half an hour. I'll not get much down me. But uh, yeah, it's Friday tomorrow. So I imagine I'll come into work pretty early. Maybe get the inside of one of the fermenters done. So that's ready then for the treatment with the pickling paste and I'll clad, well I won't, though I'll be cladding those three next week but if I can get them all pickled this week that'll be good and then next week, oh I need to pressure test of course the cooling jackets for two of the fermenters but yeah once that's done I can clad them I'm probably going to need some more timber as well so of course I calculated exactly how many metres of timber I need but what I didn't calculate was I'm chopping 600 mil off the bottom of each bloody length, aren't I? So unless I can figure out a way to sort of splice uh, two pieces, two smaller pieces together, like what, then uh, I'm afraid I'm going to be short. So it's pound a length though, it's not too bad if I have to go and buy another 30, 40 lengths. It's going to be worth it, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm going to sign off, folks. I'm going to nip into the pub and have a pint. And I'll see you on tomorrow's episode. <laughs>